Mac DeMarco just released his newest album, Five Easy Hot Dogs. And while this is an instrumental album, it does kind of have that same Mac DeMarco vibe. And I just think it is a pretty solid album. But either way, let's get into the track by track review. Gualala, La, I think that's how you say it. I really like the guitar on this song. It has a really soothing vibe. And the bass guitar kind of provides a nice background feeling. I don't know really what instrument is the main melody, but it really works, even though it doesn't have that much uh, range. It creates kind of a video game type soothing sound. Gualala, I like the. Oh, Gualala 2. I like the guitar again and the drum in the background creating a simple rhythm to the song. The song again has a very calming vibe, but it's much more melancholic and somber. Crescent City, the atmosphere of the song has this sound resounding in and out, creating a constant to go along with the drums and the guitar. The sound also carries a similar melancholic feel as the last one. Portland, I like the guitar with the leading melody and bass guitar on the background. I'm not a big freak fan of the percussion they use on this one but it does work in conjunction with the two others kind of uh portland 2 i like the faster tempo on this song and the woodwind instruments they use in the background the guitar work is really solid and perfectly works in the background victoria the percussion in the background creates a resonating atmosphere and it's pretty amazing seeing a sense of surroundedness by the listener the listener kind of gets surrounded by all the atmosphere and I feel like it sounds really amazing and the instruments the big bass guitar and the leading guitar also work well and some other percussion instruments add to the very calming vibe of the track Vancouver the melody is interesting with many percussion instruments in the background adding kind of interesting elements to the track and the guitars leading the melody Vancouver 2 the song has sort of a lullaby feel where the same notes are repeated with a calming percussion addition in the background Vancouver 3, the guitar is very calming with the bass giving some extra layers to the song. The addition of the percussion in the background just gives the track an even more familiar feel and it sounds great. Edmonton, the guitar and percussion creates a similar lullaby feel while another instrument creates the melody for a bit. Then it lets it go to the percussion and the guitar and the percussion do their thing. Uh, the song builds a little bit to give a few more drums their time, but you know it doesn't really build up to anything special, and it kind of keeps that same calming, resounding vibe for the whole song. Edmonton 2, the vibe that gu the guitar gives off is immaculate, and all the per per percussion instruments working together with the guitar sounds great. Each of them has their time to shine, but they work together in harmony, backing up the guitar's melody. Chicago, the bass really has the melody for the song working along with the leading guitar, which sounds solid. I feel like with the chords he used, it does sound a little repetitive before the drums come in. Chicago 2, it has a very solid sound, again, with the leading guitar and rattling percussion sounding great. as a nice and solid build and drop, which makes the track's tempo nice and slow. Rockaway, I do like the guitar on this track. It sounds great, and I feel like the percussion in the background with the drums also sound pretty good. Overall, this album is kind of interesting. It really is a big departure from what Mac has done in the past. As you see on a lot of these songs, they are just all instrumental. You don't have any lyrics on any of these songs. The whole thing is chronicling a big uh, trip from Mac. I think he went from Gualala and then all the way up to Crescent City to uh, Vancouver, and then he went over to Edmonton and down back into the USA all the way over to Rockaway, which is kind of a crazy just trip in general. I feel like, you know, that's a lot of driving. And these songs do, you know, they aren't really their own thing. They are kind of all part of this arching theme of the road trip. But I think because they don't have any lyrics, these are super replayable. I mean, they're nothing special. They're, they're not trying to go up for some big post-rock build into something amazing. But I do think they do have their own special feel. And I think overall, as a whole, the album is pretty solid. Like, it's a bunch of tracks that are on here and have the same kind of vibe with the guitar and the percussion instruments. And they all have the same sounds in each of them. There's the same percussion. There's the same leading melody. There's the bass guitar. There's the leading guitar. And they all have that same sound on all 14 tracks, I think it is. And... It isn't like something, yeah, that I would say is like, oh my God, it's an amazing album because he didn't try to do anything out of the ordinary. It's just 14 tracks that have this nice little calming vibe and you can listen to it at any time. Like there's no lyrics on this. This is something you can just be listening to 
while you're doing your homework, while you're doing something else. It just has that nice calming and chilling feel. And I feel like Mac really, you know, went away from the industry standards to make this one. I mean, he is a really big artist as it is. And making an album that's simply instrumental when, you know, he's a big enough singer as it is. And using, like, track names like Edmonton or Vancouver or Vancouver 3. Like, that's that's just a crazy thing as an artist to do. And I think people will definitely dislike this album because, of course, they would have wanted Mac to, you know, release an album with his lyrics and vocals on it. And I feel like that would have worked as well with even these tracks on here. But I think the instrumentals really work well. I mean, I feel like they all sound great. And they all kind of, yeah, fit the vibe that this road trip, you know, gives. This is probably something that you maybe you're not listening to at the beginning of the road trip. But as the road trip goes on, where like he didn't start in Guadalajara, I think it is. He started in Los Angeles and he went to Guadalajara. It's like maybe after eight hours of road tripping, this is something you put on. And it's just a nice and calming, soothing vibe. Some of these songs have that same lullaby type of vibe where you're you're kind of getting sleepy to it because it has this repetitive calming sound which kind of puts you to sleep either way i really like what mac did on this album like i said there's nothing really special or really innovative on this album he just going with straight guitars leading guitar bass guitar and just trying to create something that he liked and he really you know felt when he was on this trip and i think i'd give this album a six out of ten but I just want to say, Mac, I really, I really appreciate that you tried to, you know, change the industry conventions with releasing as an artist with about like 15 million monthly listeners and just a ton of people listening to him all the time. Releasing an album with no vocals, strictly instrumental, and then, you know, just kind of changing the whole vibe like of yourself. Like even though he's made a lot of songs in this similar like instrumental feel, I feel like a lot of these songs are a lot more stripped down, don't have, you know, the total, there's there's no build up on any of them. It's just a nice vibey, like lo-fi hip hop. You're going onto YouTube, you're typing in lo-fi girl. I mean, maybe it's not that, but it's more like ambient type of ambient girl. You type in ambient girl on YouTube and you see one of those streams that's going for a hundred million hours. And this is the kind of music you listen to there. Either way, I really like what he did with this. You know, like I said, it's nothing special. Gets a 6 out of 10 from me. But it is kind of a a move away from the industry standards. And it's just kind of something he wanted to put out. And he wanted to give to his fans the same vibe he felt on this road trip. That, you know, might have changed his life. So, either way, this is a very interesting and solid album. And I'd give it, yeah, 6 out of 10, as I said before. There's nothing special with it, but it is a nice vibey album that you can kind of listen to anytime just on shuffle. There's not really much of a story being played through, but they're all pretty solid songs. Nothing special, but all solid.